Straight and Crooked Thinking, written by R. H. Tholes and C. R. Tholes. This book is fundamentally about the ways that people often deceive others and themselves as well by their use of language. By straight thinking, we mean using language to manipulate people dishonestly or to observe the true meaning of one's words. That may result from confusion about how one is using language without proper reasoning. People often fall into avoidable errors because of a failure to reason correctly. There are many reasons for doing such mistakes, but authors have observed a few reasons for such errors which are serious to be taken. They have summed up the reasons for these errors as follows. People often fall into such errors because of their use of words. It frequently happens that what one person means when he uses a certain word is different from what others mean. In such a situation, the properly used words cannot identify the proper sense for others, which creates difficulties because people do not differentiate clearly enough between several varieties of the same thing. For example, the words intelligence, oxygen, accurate, and average. The use of the word intelligence sometimes creates a problem because it has more than one meaning. In such situation, a very complicated. Both research chemists and are even less understood by the layman. In oxygen, the problem is even more complicated. Both research chemists and chemical manufacturers identify the word theoretically with the element O but in practice they have different concepts about it. In course of developing a hypothesis, sometimes scientists use words with facts to create confusion, which can be understood as a common error. That is because they develop the hypothesis on the basis of assumption and give the name of particular things which can be least understood by common people. Apart from the use of the word, the error falls on the logic that is known as a logical error. Such error occurs in logic in the process of thought, for reaching the conclusion from certain premises or given statements. Logic is a science of valid inference or reasoning. It can also study the argument. Logic is basically made up of three parts. One, premise, one or more statements to think upon. Two, inference, the process of thinking upon the premise. And three, conclusion result derived from the process of reasoning or inference. For example, a young sociologist investigating literature in a certain community discovered from official records that over 50 of the population were female. He also observed that 70 of the population was literate. After obtaining data, he summed it up and drew the conclusion. Most of the population are females. Most of the population are literate. Therefore, most females are literate. In this logic, the process of thinking upon a premise which is reasoning or inference is unreasonable or unacceptable, which he himself realized as soon as he re-examined his chain of reasoning very carefully. The avoidable error often occurs in unverified or insufficient experimentation. This may easily occur at the beginning when there is no properly controlled investigation. Such mistakes can confuse cause and effect. For example, the inhabitant of a certain community had noted over the ages that whenever one became ill with a fever, the body parasites left him. Then they made the correlation that parasites kept them healthy. Later on, properly controlled scientific investigation showed parasites transmitted several kinds of fever and then left the sick persons when the latter's bodies became too hot to live on. There are some other factors that influence the reasoning are false analogy, the missing control group, and the role of authority as a bar to the reconsideration of a problem. These are known as fallacies in the argument that the author considers unreliable thought. Scientists' process of analyzing the problem by analogy from another is extremely valuable, but it may lead to the adaption of a totally false hypothesis. Thus, like scientific investigators, ordinary people may fall into errors without careful observation of the problem. We all do mistakes, but we need to correct them as a perfect citizen.